Yes, Marshall Gittler, Head of Investment Research here at FX Primus, bringing you the day's schedule of events for Tuesday, March 15th. Well, the first of this week's big central bank meetings is already over. The Bank of Japan kept policy unchanged, as I and most other analysts had expected, and Dali Yen moved down a bit as a result. On the other hand, the central bank downgraded its assessment of the economy, and the vote to maintain negative rates was 7-2, to two, as opposed to the initial 5-4 to four vote to establish them. So, did show a more dovish central bank, in my view. I think they are leaning towards moving eventually, but just need more time to see how negative rates affect the economy. I'd still lean towards buying dollar-yen. With the bodge out of the way, the focus today will be on the U.S. At 12.30 GMT, now a little earlier because of uh, the U.S. now being on daylight uh, savings time, we get two important pieces of information about the U.S. economy. We get U.S. retail sales for February, and the Empire State Manufacturing Index for March. Uh, retail sales are expected to be somewhat weak as the weather was relatively mild and gasoline prices continue to fall. So the market expects a modest 0.2% month-on-month decline in overall retail sales as a result. Excluding autos and gasoline, uh, sales should be up 0.2%, which would be less than in January, but still positive at least. At the same time, the Empire State Manufacturing Index is expected to improve somewhat. Though it's likely to remain in negative territory, it should be higher than in February and higher than the average for the last three months, which shows an improving trend. Net-net, the two of them together may be seen as modestly positive for the dollar. Then at 1400 GMT, we get the National Association of Home Builders Housing Index, the NAHB Housing Index. A strong labor market is supporting demand for new homes, and that's positive for home builders. As a result, the index is expected to improve a little bit, which could add to the slightly bullish background for the dollar. Uh, New Zealand will announce its current account balance for the fourth quarter overnight. It's expected to improve notably despite weak uh, demand from China and falling dairy prices. That could boost the Kiwi a bit. Although the data are old by this point, and the Chinese econ- uh, Chinese, China's economy has slowed further since then, and uh, dairy prices have uh, also fallen. Now, there's one other thing on the schedule that might not yet affect the FX market, but you should be aware of nonetheless. Today, there are U.S. presidential primaries in several big states. The ones to focus on are Ohio and Florida. That's because two of the Republican front runners, uh, uh, I'm sorry, two of the uh, Republican front runner Donald Trump's opponents are from there. Uh, John Kasich is, is governor of Ohio, and Marco Rubio is a senator from Florida. If Trump wins both states anyway, it'll pretty much eliminate their chances of winning the nomination and sew things up for the Donald. On the other hand, if he loses those two states, then it would be, seem to be very difficult for him to wrap up a majority of the delegates before the convention. That raises the possibility of a brokered convention, that is, one that starts without a clear winner. That's something we haven't seen in, in decades in the U.S. Once it goes to a brokered convention, anyone can win, even someone who wasn't in the primaries at all. Mitt Romney could come back. So tonight's primaries are worth watching for their impact on the U.S. presidential race. This is Marshall Gittler, head of investment research at FX Primus. Get more market insights on our education pages and turn your trading ideas into action with FX Primus, the safest place to trade.